Andrew here with Teal Arc Auto in Midland, Texas. Today we've got kind of cool one for you. It's a 1977 Lincoln Mark V. Oh yeah, it's got the 460. It's here for a couple of reasons. One of the main reasons is, so a little bit of backstory. Guy's father owned it brand new back in 77. I and mean, look how clean this interior is for, for being all original and from 77. Got the original Quadra track, which is, it's actually a Ford Quadra track. Tells you about all the features while you're driving. So, Guy's dad owned it originally in 77. He got tired of messing with the carburetor. He added, had one of these installed, a Holly Projection fuel injection system. It is a throttle body injection system. And it has worked great for a very, very long time. Until recently. He's had trouble, I believe he drove it from Brownwood, Texas, here to Midland. And going up hills, didn't want to go. Um, also, he wants his fuel gauge working. I got the new fuel sending unit, which is all that it needs. I had already tested the gauge itself. Here's that new sending unit. Man, she's pretty. No doubt, no doubt. Continental. So I'm going to be picking her up, dropping the tank, putting that sending unit in there. And then I will be checking this system out. So since him taking off from Brownwood to Midland, he has encountered another problem above half throttle. It has no juice, no get up and go, doesn't want to move out of its own way. So I'll be checking into those and hopefully posting it as a video. If not, then this video will be about replacing the fuel sending unit on a 77 Lincoln Mark V. So quick update on this 77 Lincoln. You don't have to drop the tank to pull out the sending unit. Didn't know that. Now I do. And so do you. Well, you see that orange stuff dripping out of the bottom of this fuel filter? That there's rust, Bubba. No bueno. So, another thing about these types of fuel sending units or fuel pumps, even the top mounted kind. Um, get this guy off you need a special tool or a different special tool personally i have the tool for you know pickup trucks and newer model vehicles it did not fit on this one so ta -da! this is just a brass drift you're definitely you're gonna want to use i actually like to use a brass hammer and a brass drift just to try to keep the sparks to a minimum when you're working on a fuel system. But that being said, have I used a normal hammer and a normal chisel or punch or something like that? Yes, most definitely. Was it stupid? Mm, yes, most definitely. Am I going to do it again? Mm, yes, most definitely. So humor aside, don't use ferrous metals when taking those rings off of the fuel sending units or fuel pumps on those type of tanks. You can create a spark and burn your shit down. So just, just don't, don't do it. Regardless of what I do or anybody else does in the world, you should not. All right, I'm gonna try to pry this guy out of there. Quite a bit of fuel has come out. So we're gonna see what's up with pulling the sending unit out and letting the rest kind of just, yeah, drain. Gonna try 
try a little screwdriver action first, actually. That so that I can catch it. Screwdriver action, whoa. There she goes. I'm gonna grab another bucket. Might have done a little bit better had a old Drew buddy had a bucket ready. Yeah, I know. Drain buckets are disgusting. I clean them up once every now and then. If I'm going to be you know, draining a transmission and I need to see what's in it, what's in the fluid contamination wise. Same thing with engine oil. Anything I think I might need to save to show a customer. Yeah. Well, I'm going to sit here and watch the gas grow. not funny well I've got bad news for my customer the entire inside of this fuel tank is completely rusted out not just this fuel sending unit here also let me go ahead and pull this out and show you something super cool that's the float for the sending unit uh, things that have holes in them don't normally float. It's missing the pickup screen, unless this is original and there was no pickup screen. But, uh, you know, if the rust didn't ruin it electrically, it definitely ruined it mechanically. 